Hey, hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living, and I appreciate you tuning in here. Everybody ready for a brand new week full of opportunities, see what's going to happen? I know I am. I'm looking forward to this week. Got a lot to get done, and I'm um, counting down to next Saturday because next Saturday is the first weekend of college football, and I am a fan. Uh, anyhow, today I want to talk about the best version of a raw food diet. Uh, guys, I do videos every day, so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go down and hit that subscribe button now. Then click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. Whew, I'm just having a lazy Sunday here after getting back from Pensacola. Um, I've just kind of been puttering around so much today. Just kind of getting my thoughts together for the week, uh, thinking ahead a little bit, doing a little planning Figure, just deciding what I need to get done, what priorities are. I'm getting a little bit more focused. I'm getting a little bit more focused. Like I say, I kind of got, I have uh, rededicated myself to getting back to the tropics and I'm doing everything, uh, taking all the steps to make that happen. So what is the best version of a raw food diet? I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to give the definitive answer today. I'm going to declare what is the best version of a raw food diet for everybody. And that's what will be practiced in the future. <laughs> it's kind of a trick question when I say what is the best version of a raw food diet? Well, that's relative. That is so relative. It's a loaded question. Um, the best version of a raw food diet I will say this, and I will say this with authority, or at least this is my strong opinion. The best version of a raw food diet is one that you will actually do, you can actually follow, and you can actually follow and sustain long term. You know, the theory, theory's good, but I'm, a, I'm about practice. You know, there's a lot of things that you, we can talk about theoretically, and that's where the conversation goes a lot of times. Well, this is theoretically the best, yeah, but you don't live theoretically. You don't live realistically in the places that you're talking about theoretically that you would eat like this. Um, I used to kind of <laughs> just scratch my head when I was living in Costa Rica in the tropics and somebody in middle, the middle America, you know, like in the Midwest, in Kansas, or even up just up north in Pennsylvania, in any of these states mostly, would ask, would tell me about, well, well, I don't, how do I do blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, dude, how the hell do I know? I live in the jungle. I live in the tropics. I live where I believe that we were designed to live eating this diet. So it's not like, you know, you can't just decide like, okay, well, let's see, I believe eating fruit is the best and I believe we're tropical beings and I believe this and that. Yet I live in Alaska. Go. Well, you know, there's two things you can do if you live in an environment like that that's that far removed, that far away from the tropics, is you can either adapt and do the best you can with a, with a raw food diet where you live, or you can move. That's it. That's it. But you can't have both. You can't have it both ways. You're pro unless you're unless you're super super rich. You know, if you're rich, if you're rich, you can pretty much do anything. We live in a world now. There's airplanes. There's travel. You can order stuff. If you're rich, yeah, you could live in Alaska and you could eat a tropical diet because you could just have that fruit shipped in all the time. But if you're living in a place that's not that hospitable to getting good, fresh, just good fruit in general, good quality fruit, um, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna do it. You're not going to do it. And you, the longer you just butt your head against the wall saying, well, I'm going to do this. I'm a raw food person. I believe in the raw food person. You're just going to frustrate yourself, probably in the end, get off a plant-based diet and be worse off than when you started. So I think we have to take a step back sometimes and um, bring practicality into the matter. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to always say. The best version of a raw food diet is, is what you can do where you are. Now, in another st stance, we're all individuals. We're not, you know, we're not as diverse as some people want to make out like we're just wildly different. But as a species, we do, ha we, and I think it's mostly because of the toxins and the just everything we've been exposed to from, you know, electrical wires to everything around us, toxins, everything, these impurities that we take in our body. And we all have different, I and a lot of humans have different issues based on what, kind of toxins and what impurities they've taken in in their particular area. So some people cannot 
some people cannot eat like me. I've had, I, you know, I've, I know a number of people that have healed from certain, condi you know, from Lyme, from Candida, from certain things, that at least for a period of time, and in fact, that was making them worse. They were eating like I did. They were eating, you know, mostly fruit, some greens. They were very, very, very high fruit, and it was just making them worse. Now, that's not to say that, okay, if, fruit was off limits for them forever, but they just had to do certain things. Like I know people that had to like, you know, eat, they couldn't, they had to like eat their fruit, juice their greens, do special things for, for whatever reasons, for various digestive issues, but, or, or other things. But point being is not everybody eats exactly the same. So we also have where we live, like our conditions, our external conditions. We also have our internal conditions. So the sooner you can hone in and find what works for you, but stop, bob stop bobbling around with it. Stop fooling around with it. If you're really serious about this and you're going to talk about it day after day, and that's, this is going to be your reason for living, figure out what's going to work for you. You know, get down in the dirt, do some of the work and figure and experiment and see what works for you and be practical. Um, you know, like I've, I've preached over and over and over ad nauseum in videos. It just doesn't make sense um, to me for people to like do this thing, this raw, like raw above everything. In other words, like so obsessive with the raw and I'm going to try to speak real slowly here because the fully raw, you know, washed in the blood, true believers don't want to hear anything else. And I'm never, 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 if you are in a place, in a situation where you can eat 100% fully raw, God bless, go for it. I'm not trying to discourage you. I'm never saying that eating fully raw is wrong. I'm never saying that you shouldn't eat fully raw if you can. And even, hey, you know, it's a free world. Even if you want to and it's not working out for you, you're free to do it. But it just, to me, doesn't make sense. It's never going to make sense. You can pull out all the big words and all your little mumbo jumbo concepts that's babbled around in this raw food world and tell me why it's raw above everything. But no, it's not raw above everything. And I'm going to tell you that straight up looking into the camera that no, I will take eating cooked clean food over raw garbage any day, over raw high fat, just scarfing down nuts. But I'm raw, but I'm raw. I haven't gone over the holy temperature. So once again, you knew I would shape it back around to that message at some point. It's about your health. It's about putting the best things into your body. If possible, and if that's what you want to do, be fully raw. Be fully raw. Listen, I keep, I, you know, I said yesterday, and I'm reiterating today, I'm getting back to the tropics. When I get back to the tropics, oh, yay, it's going to be a different story. You're going to see a, a, a switch flip. I mean, I'd be, I'd be going nuts. If I went back to Costa Rica right now, to the beach in Costa Rica right now, give or take maybe, maybe a couple of days to get settled in, you couldn't make me eat cooked food. You couldn't put a piece of cooked food in my mouth, not because I'm a fanatic, not because I'm always law, because of where I am, because of what I have. And yes, that is my natural thing, is to eat that, uh, is to eat the raw food, is to eat a large amount of fruit. But down there, I had it all around all the time. And I had good quality fruit. It wasn't perfect quality. That's where the little quality people want to start splitting hairs. Like, well, was it this? Well, no, it wasn't organic. I'm not rich. I, I, you know, I don't have organic. And it wasn't necessarily a matter of money down in Costa Rica. But, a, you know, a lot of the places I, were, I was, organic fruit wasn't available. But I still felt like, you know, the min it's not as demineralized where I was getting my stuff from down there. And anyway, you do what you can. None of us are ever going to be perfect. You know, unless we somehow get in a time machine and go back to the Garden of Eden or back to, the, back to prehistoric times, everything is compromised. Everything is compromised. And unless you're, unless you're in a really good situation, maybe growing your own food, living on some commune that's doing food, or you've got a lot of money, like I mentioned, and you can get the best of the best organic, you got to do the, the best you can. And that's what it really boils down to with, uh, with our eating is just doing the best we can. Not putting that pressure on yourself. And like I say, not constantly have, being a, in a negative state of mind because you're not eating perfectly. But 
just take a step back. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, one day when you're just sitting around, you know, just take a step back away from doing this and don't think of it like you do every day and just say, you know, what would actually work the best for me where I live? You know, what do, what do I get here year round? You know, look at your whole year round. What am I getting right now? What, what's available in the winter for me? What's available in the summer? You know, what is your budget? Um, how, you know, how, how, what's your, what's your life like? Are you working a lot? Are you doing this a lot? Or do you take the kids to school? I mean, factor in all those things and be practical with yourself and just start constructing a way of eating, a diet, if that's what you want to call it, that works for you where you are. But with realism in there, you're not me. You don't live where I live. Um, hell, I don't know why there's somebody that's always thinks you're living in the best place. I still have people telling me, oh, you're so lucky living in Alabama. And I'm like, all right, well, I got good watermelon this summer. I am grateful that I get, you know, mangoes at the Asian market, which I got yesterday, although the Tafos are gone for the season. But I'm in Alabama, people. I mean, really, am I like in the promised land of getting fruit and vegetables or where I would be for a raw food diet? No. You know, I mean, I can get grocery store pineapples. They're not great. I can get papaya, but I don't, I mean, I'm in Alabama, in Alabama. So, you know, I'm sure there's places, especially up north, you know, during the winter where it might be tougher, but I'm not doing anything special here. I'm just like plugging away, doing the best that I can. And that's all we can really do. So let's take a step back, be a little bit more realistic about your circumstances, about yourself, about your health, where you're coming from and figure out the best version of a raw food diet accordingly. But once again, I'll just leave you with it. And I'm always going to say it, just pay, pick the cleanest options, pick the cleanest options. And if you have to pick a clean cooked option over a sketchy, shady, low, high fat processed raw version, well, I'm going to, I know what I'm going to pick every time and it's going to be the healthy cook. But to finish off, to just reiterate, if you can, where you are, do a, f a total raw food diet, do it. You'll feel great. You'll feel great. I felt, you know, I felt like I was going to levitate sometimes when I was down there in Costa Rica, eating nothing but fruit for days and days and days and weeks. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.